ran a lot better in the second half and as the game wore on. Uh, how much of that was adjustment and how much of that was kind of the, the tough grind that you put in in the first half paying off and wearing them down as the game went on because your longer runs came in the third and especially fourth quarter? Uh, I think it was a little bit of both, to be honest. Uh, definitely we did come in at halftime and our coaches made some adjustments where they saw fit. And um, I think that's definitely uh, that definitely helped the run game in the second half. AJ Jacobs and Rivals. CJ, one of the big changes in this offseason was the brand new offensive line. Tell us your assessment of what they did for you today. Man, those guys are great. I can't say enough about those guys. They did an unbelievable job tonight. Um, yeah, man, we're just going to keep pushing. It's, it's only up from here. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. CJ, what's uh, your favorite part about how you fit in a Joe Moorhead offense? Uh, I love how he uh, likes to get his running backs out in space and just how he uh, uses us in well, whether it be the run game or the pass game. So I think uh, he's uh, definitely making us a lot more diverse. Aaron Fentress, the Oregonian. Hey, how relieved were you guys as a team just to be able to play today, not only because of the delay, but because two other games in the Pac-12 were canceled? Were you guys pretty amped that you got to just play football and didn't have any issues? Man, uh, we've been waiting for this for I don't know how long. I think 300 some days since we played the Rose Bowl. So ever since that moment, you know, we've just been waiting to get back on the field. And uh, tonight we got that chance, and, you know, we made most of it. Matt Prem, 247 Sports. Uh, CJ, I'm curious, how much did the quarterback running the ball help you with, with your running? Um, this is the most carries we've seen from an Oregon quarterback in a while. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely helps uh, us running backs a lot. You know, it definitely uh, gives those ends that are rushing hard a lot to think about whether he's going to pull it or not. So um, Tyler did an unbelievable job tonight. That's, I just can't say enough about what he did today. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Kind of following that, CJ, uh, on the touchdown run, it was an option where you read 11 uh, – well, Tyler read 11. Uh, you had him open there. He was a backup and a former walk-on. I know in the second half, third quarter, you ran at him several times in a row, and then they eventually took him out right after. How much when you were seeing him, was that almost like by design consciously to like, all right, you have an advantage here uh, up against this guy? To be honest, I, didn't I, didn't, I wasn't really recognizing – how many times he was on the field, how many times he was on the field. I just, I was going out there running the plays. AJ Jacobs and Rivals. CJ Cyrus had a fumble, which is pretty uncharacteristic of him. How do you running back support each other when you make a mistake like that? Oh man, we just cut, he comes to the sideline. We just tell, we always tell each other, uh, move on to the next play. You know, you got to flush it. Uh, you can't let, you can't dwell on a bad play and let it lead to more bad plays. So. We just told him uh, it was going to be all right. Just move on from it. James, back with the Oregonian. CJ, with that, how much of this for you was particular? I don't want to say extra satisfying, but what, what is the feeling for you, man? I mean, you played well against these guys last year, but to get to 100 against them, and they even talked on the telecast about two years ago, how much for you? I mean, this could be the last time you play them. You have a decision to make months from now, but how, what, is, what is the feeling of getting 100 against Stanford with the way that went down two years ago? Oh, man, just one of the best feelings, you know. Ever since that thing happened two years ago, the fumble has been on my mind, and I've been waiting to get this chance, you know, play these guys back at home. So it was it was definitely a satisfying feeling. Nicole Brown, Gridiron Girl. Hi, CJ. Hey, so Coach Cristobal talked a little bit tonight about, you know, the team having to find their own juice without the crowd being there. And I'm just wondering how hard that was for you and how what you guys did as a team to kind of find that. Uh, I don't think it was hard at all. You know, we've been talking about the, how that's going to be, you know, no fans in a different environment. And he's been preaching us um, this whole time that it's up to us to bring our own juice and bring our own energy. So, you know, the guys on the sideline with, um, while the offense or the defense is on the play, you know, we're always rooting for each other. And I think uh, we just feed off each other. Tyson Alger, The Athletic. Do you ever hear sounds from defenders when you hit them? Like, I was just, like, watching the replay of, of your touchdown run where you, you hit the defender, and I swear he flew about five or six yards. Like, what, what's that sound like when, when you're in that space? Man, to be honest, I don't really, be, I don't really hear anything. I just – uh, the only thing that's going through my head is get to the end zone. So after that, 
I just like people were telling me like, man, he flew like this many yards. I was like, I didn't even notice at all. All right, CJ, appreciate it, buddy. Nice job tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you.